it's important to understand how these persistently infected or PI animals are created. They are only born PI. That occurs if the cow is exposed to the virus at some stage between day 40 to 120 of gestation. If she gets exposed to the disease, she will spread that to the fetus she's carrying. It's a critical time in that fetus uh, growth in that it's at this time frame when the immune system is recognizing what is part of itself. The reason for doing that is once it's born, it will not build immune response to what is part of itself only those things that are not self. If the virus is there during this recognition process, it believes BVD virus is part of itself. So it will never mount an immune response to the BVD virus it was exposed to. If the calf survives the pregnancy and is born alive, it is now what we call a persistently infected calf. It has this virus in its system. It doesn't realize it's there. Its immune system will not uh, mount an immune response against it. So it essentially becomes a virus factory producing billions and billions of virus particles a day. Day. So it's important to know that PI calves are only born PI. They do not develop after birth. If you test some calves and they test negative, they will always be negative for BVD PI. Once positive and born alive, they remain PIs uh, for the rest of their life. So you've tested your herd or your soccer calves for BVD PI and you find one. What do you do with that persistently infected animal? The most important thing to do is to quarantine that animal away from the rest of the population. And then we have to determine what we're going to do with that persistently infected animal. Why? Because this animal is shedding billions and billions of virus particles daily. The last thing anybody wants to do is to take it back through the market system. You're just pushing that problem off to someone else. So your options are actually few. Uh, one, of course, is euthanasia. Get rid of that source of BVD infection, and some clients do actually opt for that option. The other is to keep that animal in isolation and feed it to a weight that it can be slaughtered. BVD virus is not infectious to people, and so it's, it's not a problem to consume uh, these PI animals. It just becomes a management issue to keep them isolated and grow them to a weight that you can harvest the animal. The last thing we want to do is put him back into the market system. When you're testing uh, your cow herd, it's important to understand that, in my opinion, uh, it requires two tests to verify that an animal is truly PI. Um, in the stalker and feed yard industry, one test is enough for us to determine we need to isolate that animal out of uh, the general population. But in a cow herd, we can sometimes see an acute infection in a cow give us enough signal to consider that she could be PI. The only way to determine whether she's PI or not is to have a follow-up test uh, 14 days later on a separate sample. She's tested a second time. If she was just acutely infected, she will test negative on the follow-up test. If she tests positive a second time, we know for a fact that she's truly PI. That's important to do with the expensive breeding animals to verify that they are truly PI before they're disposed of.